Welcome to our new GeoWiki campaign, which is called Human Impact on Forests. We are very glad that you're contributing to science by getting involved in our campaign. Your contribution and input is very valuable to us in that it will help us improve forest management maps and value estimations on biodiversity and carbon storage. Besides helping science, you also get the chance to win great prizes. Our campaign will take place in three stages. Human Impact on Tropical Forests, human impact on temperate forests, and human impact on boreal forests. The focus of this campaign is to gather forest data for over 110,000 locations globally in order to develop an improved and accurate global layer of forest management intensity. To participate in this campaign, you should only follow these three simple steps. First, go to geowiki.org and then click on Launch GeoWiki. Second, if you do not have a GeoWiki account, please press here to get started. Please use Chrome or Firefox to access GeoWiki. If you have any problems or questions about how to register, feel free to contact us at this email address. If you already have a GeoWiki account, simply click on Log In. After that, just click on Enter Application and then you're ready to start. On the top left of the GeoWiki screen, select Human Impact on Tropical Forests for the first stage, or Human Impact on Temperate Forests, or Human Impact on Boreal Forests for the next stages of the campaign. GeoWiki will remember your settings and will take you directly there next time. The first time you enter the Human Impact on Tropical Forests application, you will be taken through a quick start guide. This guide is very important because it provides essential information on how to classify the images you see. Pay special attention to how we define different classes of forest management. What is forest with very low human impact? What are plantations? And what do other classes represent? Click the Next button to go through the guide. When you finish the guide, you will see your first satellite image. On it, you will see a blue box in which you should look in order to answer the questions about tree age and forest management on the right side of your screen. You can click the Quick Start Guide button on the left anytime when you need to review the instructions. On this example, we see not disturbed forests with mature trees. To make sure, you can click on the button View in Google Earth if you have Google Earth Desktop installed. With it, you will visualize the image with full Google Earth capabilities and will be able to inspect whether any disturbances or forest management have happened there. Once you have selected tree age and type of forest class, you can submit your validation. If an image is too difficult to decide for, you can skip it by first selecting Skip Reason. Except Google Earth, two more tools will help you analyze images. Click on View examples to visit our gallery of images, especially designed with common landscapes and cases of forest management techniques for each stage of the campaign. Click on Ask Experts for Help to email us a question. Someone from our GeoWiki team will review your question and post an answer in our Facebook GeoWiki group. You can also use this button to give us feedback. We value your suggestions. If you want to find out how you are doing in relation to others, click on the leaderboard. Before you decide how to classify a location, you always check first if any additional images are available. They are the most recent ones and we make our decision based on them. If you want to remove this image after that, simply click on Remove Image. If you are unsure about validation and you need to make further analysis, you can select the Time Series tool of Sentinel Hub on the top left. You can also use the NDVI index. More information and examples on how both tools work is available in our gallery of images. On the top left, you will also find a zoom button that allows you to see the point's location on the Earth's surface. On this image, you see an example of oil palm plantations. On the top left, you will find a button, Forest Management Maps, which can also assist you when validating. If you click on Tree Plantations, an additional layer of plantations will appear over your satellite image, as you can see here in a light pink color. This will help you further to analyze the image. The first few images will be control points, set up to train you on classifying tree age and types of forest management, and to provide with instant feedback on your quality score. 
After these training images, other control points will appear at random. Your quality score and therefore your position on the leaderboard will be determined by how well you do on these control points. For each classified image, you earn a maximum of 30 points or lose a maximum of 30 points. If you identify correctly both tree age and forest class, you earn the maximum points. While if you miss some of these, you earn less as explained on the slide. This is how your quality score is estimated. We also will reward our participants with prizes. The top 20 participants for the first stage who contribute the most data measured by quality and quantity will be offered prizes in the range of 25 to 450 euros. They will also get the unique chance to become co-author on a scientific paper. For the second stage, the top 15 participants will be offered prizes worth 50 to 400 euros and again a chance to become co-author on a scientific paper. While for the third stage, the top 15 contestants will be offered prizes in the range of 25 to 350 euros and a chance to become co-author on a scientific paper. We have additional prizes as well and we'll be glad if you contribute to science by participating in our campaign.